Rehab and the Spies. Dear friends, in today's story, we are going into the sixth book of the Bible, Joshua. This book is named after the main character of the stories. This is the same Joshua that we have seen in the previous stories with Moses. This book mainly talks about how Joshua fulfilled his duties as one appointed to lead the Israelites to their promised land. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, and strengthened him. Joshua was to be strong and very courageous and obey all the laws Moses had given them, for the Lord has already given to them the land he promised Moses to give the Israelites across the Jordan. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people to go to the camp to tell all the people to get their supplies ready, for in three days they were to cross the Jordan. Then Joshua reminded the Reubenites, Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh to keep their wives and children in this land. But all the fighting men must cross over and help their brothers until they have taken possession of the land, as Moses commanded them. They agreed. Then Joshua secretly sent two spies from Shittim to look over the land, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of Rahab, a prostitute, and stayed there. The house she lived in was a part of the city wall. By then the king of Jericho was informed. So the king of Jericho sent messengers to Rahab and asked her to bring out the men who came to her. But she had taken them to the roof and hidden them under the stalks of flax she had laid out. She did this because all who lived in the country, including her, were living in great fear because they heard how the Lord dried up the Red Sea and what they did to the kings of the Amorites and they realized that God had given Jericho to the Israelites. So she did not hand over the men to the messengers who came to the house. She sent back those who came, saying that the men left at dusk when it was time to close the city gates, and that she did not know where they went. Rahab, who knew that the Lord their God is God in heaven above and earth below, showed kindness to the spies. In return for that, she asked that when the Israelites come to take possession of the land, they would spare her life and the lives of those who belong to her, and that they will save them from death. They agreed. Then she led them down by a rope through her window. The men told her that unless, when they enter the land, she has tied a scarlet cord in the window through which she let them down, and all her family is inside her house, they will not be responsible for their blood. If anyone goes outside her house, his blood will be on his own head. Don't you remember that in the previous stories we looked at similar incidents? In Noah's time, God had given enough time to enter the ark before his judgment. And in Moses' time, before the exodus, the Israelites smeared blood on their doorpost and escaped the tenth plague, that is, the death of the firstborn. The reason why God chose Israel as his people was so that the Gentiles can see him through them and come to him. That is why they did not hesitate in showing kindness to Rahab, who knew this and behaved accordingly. Then the two men started back and came to Joshua and told him everything that happened to them. Then, early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan, where they camped. After three days, the officers went throughout the camp and instructed the people on what they should do while crossing the Jordan. Joshua told the people to consecrate themselves that day, for the next day the Lord will do an amazing thing among them. In the next story, we will see the instructions the Israelites got before crossing the Jordan and how they crossed the river. God bless you.